Anybody could have done what I have done. Be organized, put the energy into it, love the kids, and that's pretty much what it was. I'm not sad. I know I'm gonna leave the program in good hands. Nothing to look back on. Well, Mary, thank you so much for being able to sit down with us and, and talk about just the outstanding career that you've had. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It's a little tough talking about yourself, but I'll figure it out. Well, you're leaving a lasting legacy here at Marion. You've coached over 775 athletes. You've educated over 6,000 students. Is that crazy to hear? And I wish, could, wish I could say they all left loving me, right? <laughs> For the most part. You know, I, I, there are some things I look back at and say, well, you know, I could have done that different. I could have, should have done this different. But not too many, not too many. There's a few. Right, 39 years of happiness here. And, you know, I want to go back to the Mary before you even got to Mary and um, what life was like for you when you were young, getting into the sport of basketball, figuring out you wanted to be an educator. Um, you know, take me through that, you know, how that started. Well, when I got to high school, we only had two sports for girls. This is talking 1974, 1978, track and basketball. So my siblings, my sisters and I, we jumped at that. and. I think midway through my college career, I decided I, I wanted to continue as a coach. So I was going to look into a position that would make it so I could find that. And it all worked out that way too. So when I graduated, there was this opening and I applied and so I got to stay with it. That's kind of, I think, how it worked out for me. I just, that competitive nature just kind of drew me towards now I can coach and get the same, you know, kind of pleasure from playing now to coaching. And Marion was the first and only stop that you've been to after college? Correct. Um, I had a connection. Some of our Marion dads at the time were also U of D grads, so they knew about the women's program and, and that, uh, you know, they needed a position. They had an opening here, so a few of them encouraged me to apply, and that's kind of how, you know, you got those connections, and that's kind of how it went. That's what it's all about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, and you know, they, I was just talking to one of them today about, you know, he was critiquing the, my the last game of ours, and and he was one of the catalysts or one of the, one of the alumni that got me over here, helped me to get over here. And you talk about the competitiveness and the passion you've always had for this sport. It's led you to six state championships, seven state final appearances, twenty Catholic league titles. Um, 12 Final Fours, I could keep going. The list of accomplishments is incredible. What do you think when you hear all of that? It, you know, have you had time really to reflect on just how much success that you've had as a coach? I don't know if you really look back and say, oh, I did this, I did that. It was always like you're one another one, right? And I always said once I stop wanting that, then I need to get out. And I'm getting out even though I still want it. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know if I think about, oh, you know, this or that. I just think about how much fun it all was. It was a lot of work. Uh, it was a lot of time. But it was always, even when we didn't win it all, that you felt this, we really accomplished something. I think that was a, a drive for me to always feel like we started here and we ended up here as far as maybe not total wins, or, but as a team, as individuals, you saw them get better. And when people say, well, you know, what's your best memories? You know, you look at, or you pull up a picture of a team and you say, oh yeah, that kid was such a character, you know? And you have those memories of each team, even though you didn't win at all every year. I think that's what it was. It was like, okay, we're, this is what we're going to accomplish. You look at what you have and say, what can we get out of this group? I think it was, that was the challenge of it. What brought you to the decision that you wanted to step away from the game? So at some point I thought over the summer, do I have the energy that one needs to do this? Because it takes a lot of energy. Once the season got started, I had the energy, but I have two excellent assistants who are just ready to take the reins, right? And I've done it. I've done it. I've been there. I'm ready to let someone else enjoy the ride. And that's, and I can look back and say, 
I, it's all good, good. So that's kind of, first at first I thought, do I have the energy that I can commit to it? And then once the season started, of course I did, but then, you know, looking in these, my assistants coach, they are ready and they deserve it. So let them do it. What has the game of basketball taught you? Oh, a lot. That, that there, you put the effort in and, and, and you can succeed. You might not, you know, get to the championship game, but that they, each student will see success if, you, if they put the effort in. You know what else it taught me is that how important the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh kid on your team is. That friendship, it's, that's what I think it's, and so many good memories of, of great stuff. That's, I guess that's what it's taught me, is that if I put the effort in, if the kids put the effort in, we're gonna be successful. Maybe not always in wins and losses, but with the rest of your life. And uh, kids keep you young. That's the one thing I think I'm gonna miss, that these young people keep me kind of young, keep me moving, keep me realizing that I'm getting there. <laughs> I don't know, but they keep you young. <laughs>